Clifton Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with Evan Clifton, head coach of the tennis teams. And, Coach, this past week you guys go to Lebanon Valley after hosting yeah. Lebanon Valley and unable to finish it out in the uh, semifinals of the MAC tournament. Right. But just talk about how how those matches went for you. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, like we said last week, we knew it was going to be a tough match. We knew that uh, at certain spots we matched up pretty well and that if we could win a couple of the 50-50 matchups that we would have our chance. Mm -hmm. um, and at doubles it looked like – it sort of looked a lot like that. At one doubles, we, uh, I think we were close early on, but then we got we got the break back, and then I think we broke them two or three times in a row, and, and really kind of ran away with that match. And that was the first, uh, the first point. So it was nice to get that 1-0 lead. Uh, three doubles, we we really started really poorly. We started very slow. We were down four or five-zero right away. Came back a bit, closed things up, got back to within one break, um, but then just couldn't quite. We sort of. They pulled ahead at the end, mm -hmm. and, and we lost that match 8-4. Uh, at two doubles was was really where we, we played our, our best, at least as far as improving from last time. Um, and we had we had a new team up there. We put Doug and Kevin up at two, and, um, and Kevin has, you know, hasn't played a, a conference doubles match in a while. And um, and he really stepped up, and, and Doug played well. And they were uh, – no, there was no breaks of serve until um, I think we were up 4-3. Or, or they were up four three and we were, or it was four all and then um, they broke us and then they got they um, they put together a couple games but really at four all it was went from deuce at out at in back and mm -hmm. forth it was a super long game um, and we got a, you know hats off to to Lebanon Valley and those guys at two doubles they they were able to pull that game out and really seize that momentum and and coasted from there um, so but it, you know we went into singles we knew it wasn't over down two one um, we just got to win four out of six singles matches and. Mm -hmm. Um, and we were up a set at one, uh, down a set at two, but we were we were four all, and, and Warnden was was playing well, um, and then uh, Doug Vaughn, who was playing as well as, as he's played all year, and was I mean really stepped up huge for us. Played uh, played their normal number two, uh, and took the first set in a tie break, and was up a break early in the third set. Um, but unfortunately, at four, five, and six, Lebanon Valley's their depth was mm -hmm. was just certainly was just better than ours, um, and they won those matches in straight sets and uh, relatively routinely scores, and and that gave them the five wins. And in the tournament, once you get to five, you you stop play. And so, unfortunately, mm -hmm. we didn't get to finish those matches for Brian Warden and Doug. Um, you know, so that stuff. You know, it ends the ends the career for three seniors for for Brian, for Kevin, uh, and for Tony. You know, so it's certainly it is uh, you know it's painful to see those guys go out not not on top not not with a conference championship but certainly doesn't take anything away from from the career those three had and and you know where Brian stands and and all the records and uh, you know so certainly a lot to be proud of this year for those guys and and they're motivated they're already I know I've I've seen a few of them already out there on the courts training on their own and stuff for next year so you know we're we're hungry and. We know, uh, you know, the target is on Lebanon Valley and, and Messiah's back, and we know what we're aiming for now. Yeah, those three seniors have had a, a distinguished career, especially mm -hmm. Brian, sure. and they've also had an impact on both teams, both men's and women's teams, yeah. as far as motivating and you know showing tips and know-hows and things like that. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, Brian stands, you know, at the top of our doubles wins mm -hmm. all time, and and. and Combined singles and doubles, he's he's certainly up there. I think he's top five at least, and um, he's just been huge, great leader. And yeah, sure, it'll it'll miss it will miss all three of those guys. Tony brings a ton of passion, a ton of energy to every mm -hmm. practice match. Um, you know, Kevin competes extremely hard, pushes everybody in practice, keeps things light, and you know it'll be up to our returners and the guys we have, the freshmen and transfers we have coming in to continue that and build on that uh, and assume. For those guys to assume a, a larger role next year, because they'll they'll need to be more vocal. Mm -hmm. They'll need to be the ones setting an example, like our seniors did this year. You talk about years to come, about the transfers and freshmen. Mm -hmm. A lot of youth on both teams, especially on the women's team, who's yeah. just now progressing. Sure. How excited are you for the years to come? Yeah, very excited. I mean, like I said, we had we had a doubles team make the finals of the. The championship doubles draw in the fall. Mm -hmm. uh, Jenna and and Kelsey were named second team all conference as freshmen, um, and that, I think that's our first all conference selection on the women's side in a couple years, three maybe four years. Um, so things and those again, they're freshmen. So and we've got more freshmen coming and ju that are just as skilled as, as the girls we have and and that sort of thing. So we're you know, we're definitely going to be better. Um, and we were you know we if you 
if we can flip those two 5-4 matches we had earlier uh, in the spring, those conference 5-4 losses to Messiah and to Lycoming, then we're in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. and who knows? Maybe we're still playing. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not – the gap is not is not large at all. Nope. So if we can – even if the, the girls returning just get a little bit better and we add – uh, we, we add the freshmen coming in, and they can make a, even the, the slightest amount of impact in the lineup. Uh, and I fully expect that we'll be a playoff team, and we'll be a team contending for for the title next year. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time every week, and congratulations on a successful season as it was. And uh, we look forward to next year's. And congratulations to the three seniors that will be graduating yeah. this year on the men's side. Thank you. He's Evan Clifton. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Evan Clifton Show.